Hi folks, it's good to be with you. We're looking at fulfilled biblical prophecy, and this is off uh, a place uh, you could go to www.beholdthebeast.com. Mathematical precision estimates suggest that from one quarter to one third of the Bible is composed of prophecy, just as such as the Messiah prophecies, including on the prior two pages. Following as an excerpt from many websites, a summary of chapter 3 of Professor Peter Stoner's book, Science Speaks. The mathematical probability of Jesus fulfilling Old Testament prophecies as Israel Messiah. Professor Hermitus of Science at West Mount College, Peter Stoner, has calculated the probability of one man fulfilling the major prophecies made concerning the Messiah. The estimates were worked out by 12 different classes representing some 600 university students. The students carefully weighed all the factors, discussed each prophecy at length and examined the various circumstances which might indicate that men, that men had conspired together to fulfil a particular prophecy. They made their estimate conservative enough so that there was finally unanimous agreement even among the most sceptical students. However, Professor Stoner then took their estimates and made them even more conservative. He also encouraged other sceptics or scientists to make their own estimates to see if his conclusions were more than fair. Finally, he submitted his figure for review to a committee of the American Scientific Affiliation. Upon the examination, they verified that this calculation was dependable, accurate in regard to the scientific material presented. Peter Stoner Speaks, Chicago Moody Press, 1969. For example, concerning Micah 5.2, where it states that the Messiah would be born in Bethlehem, Euphratha Stoner and his students determined the average population of Bethlehem from the time of Micah to, Micah to the present. Then they divided it by the average population of the earth during the same period. They concluded that the chance of one man being born in Bethlehem was 1 in 300,000 or 1 times 2, uh, or 1 in 2.8 times 10 to the power of 5 rounded. After examining only 8 different prophecies, they conservatively estimated that the chance of one man fulfilling all eight prophecies was 10 to the power of 17. To illustrate a large number of 10 to the power of 17, a figure with 17 zeros stronger, Stoner gave the illustration. If you mark one of 10 tickets and place all the tickets in a hat and thoroughly stir them and then ask a blindfold man to draw one, his chance of getting the right ticket is 1 in 10. Suppose that we take 10 to the power of 17 si uh, silver dollars and lay them on the face of Texas. They will cover all the state 2 feet deep. Now mark one of these silver dollars and stir the whole mass thoroughly all over the state. Blindfold a man and tell him that he can travel as far as he wishes but he must pick up one silver dollar and say that this is the right one. What chance would he have of getting the right one? Just the same chance that the prophets would have had of writing these eight prophets and having them all come true at any one, in any one man from their day to the present time, proving they wrote them in their own wisdom. So, sorry, for, for their day, sorry. What chance would we have of getting the right one? Just the same chance that the prophets would have had of writing these eight prophecies and having them all come true in any one from their day to the present time, providing they wrote them in their own wisdom. So, there's the miraculous there, proved by mathematics. So imagine you've got silver dollars, two feet high, one across America. You blindfold a guy and say, go and find eight coins that we've marked in the whole of America. You blindfold him, he goes off. What chances have he got of finding those eight coins? That's the same argument when you come against prophecy in the Bible. When you say there couldn't be prophecies, that's the kind of silly scenario that you're coming against because it, it would be an impossibility, yet they prophesied certain things that come to pass. And uh, mathematically... The mathematical probability of that is insurmountably almost impossible. All right. God bless you. You can get this article on um,
uh, www.beholdthebeast.com false prophet okay thank you for listening and God bless you